This is our patient Max. He is a 10 year old dingo cross. He hasn't been well for about the last six weeks and he's had a history of intermittent fevers and weight loss. He's had quite a lot of diagnostic testing and eventually a lung mass was identified on CT. So today, that's our aim to remove this mass. Now we'll just make sure, uh, that's fine. We'll just make sure his legs are pulled forward a bit. You can just see how much weight he's lost, this dog, because he's quite thin. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. What I'm doing here is I'm counting between the ribs so I can actually make my incision over the area of the affected mass in the lung lobe. Just makes life easier. Lung cancer is relatively uncommon in dogs, unlike people. We don't know for sure that that's what Max has got. We'll really only know once we've got the laboratory pathology back. Actually, you can show that. You can take a little photo of it in there and say it floats. And why does it float? It floats because there is air in it. It did turn out to be a carcinoma, uh, but at this stage we've, all, we've elected to not pursue any other treatment options and Max is going to go home and maintain his previously active lifestyle. Mum's just showing